This is ABC 7 News at 6. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. And I'm Haley Willigas. Thank you for joining us. The Bradenton Police Department is responding tonight to accusations of racial injustice. Those accusations coming from Manatee County's NAACP. The group made a records request for officer-involved shootings, traffic citations, and written warnings. ABC 7's Kate Flexter first told us about the story over the weekend. She joins us now with new information. Kate? Well, Haley and Scott, this is the most extensive records request this chapter of the NAACP has ever made. And now they're saying the data from the department doesn't add up. When Manatee County's NAACP President Rodney Jones requested data from the Bradenton Police Department, he began to crunch the numbers. It made me a little uneasy. It sent up an immediate red flag um, because the numbers just didn't add up. The numbers for traffic citations from the last 10 years are broken down by race, totaling about 65,000 citations. But the department only reported a total of about 57,000, leaving more than 8,000 citations unaccounted for. With written warnings also from the last 10 years, a similar situation with more than 1,500 warnings also unaccounted for, leaving Jones to wonder why. To the discerning eye, that appears as if someone either by accident or intentionally um, actually added to those numbers to uh, take away the, the disproportionate numbers from the other categories. We went to the Bradenton Police Department for answers, and Chief Melanie Bevan responded with a written statement saying due to the record system's limitations, Hispanics were recorded in both the white and Hispanic populations. This error was not discovered until the initial data had been released. Civil rights attorney Andrea Mogensen took a look at the numbers. It increases the ratio uh, favorably to the perception of the police department, which is always going to lead to suspicion. Mogensen says whatever the reason for any error, it's important for law enforcement agencies to keep accurate records. Police agencies are primarily policing themselves, so it's particularly important to have accurate data uh, because in a circumstance like this where there's a question about the accuracy of the data, it really diminishes people's confidence in the ability of the police to police themselves. Jones says he's hoping for the best, but slowly losing that confidence in the department. Maybe their systems are a little antiquated and maybe they need to be updated. I'm not sure, um, but something needs to happen because what it brings into question, um, like I said yesterday, is if that report was bad and that report wasn't validated, what else have you sent out that is inaccurate as well? Just hours ago, the department sent revised numbers to the NAACP. The group is now reviewing those numbers and deciding how to move forward. Back to you. Thank you, Kate. A new app is helping local law enforcement better reach individual communities on the Sun Coast. The app is called Next Door. It's like a Facebook that's unique to a specific neighborhood. Sarasota Police and most recently the Manatee County Sheriff's Office are using the app to put out alerts and take feedback from residents. They say the advantage is quicker dialogue with areas that are specifically affected by crimes. And local residents say the app is already making a difference. You know, a lot of break-ins might be in our neighborhood, but Bayou Oaks is having the same issues. So if you post it and you say, you know, this, we've got a lot of car, you know, car break-ins, everybody's notified. If somebody wants to break into a neighborhood, whether it's a gated community or not, they're going to get in. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office says that it can reach nearly 20,000 subscribers at a time. Sarasota police say that their number is closer to 2,200. The impact of Hurricane Matthew still being felt by millions in the south. The mass's massive storm claimed the lives of at least 20 people, five in Florida. Parts of North Carolina got months worth of rain during the storm. Many towns are already inundated and it's getting worse there. The state's governor says 1,500 people are stranded in one town alone. We do have people on the roofs as we speak and we have a lot of helicopters and boats uh, that have been deployed that are at this point in time rescuing them. Here in Florida, Governor Rick Scott toured the damage along the East Coast over the weekend. He says he's grateful the state didn't suffer a direct hit. Scott also activating the Florida Disaster Fund today, which will provide financial support to communities in times of disaster like this. 
And I guess the storm left behind, though, some drier and cooler weather. Yes, we're sure, surely enjoying that now. Let's head over to Bob and get the details on this lovely forecast. Yeah, a lot of smiles on the faces this morning when they got out and got out outside and checked out the uh, temperatures down in the 60s. Really nice and low humidity all around. We still have uh, some tropical weather to talk about, but luckily it's not for us. But it unfortunately is going to hit uh, Bermuda, it looks like. This is Nicole, which is a tropical storm, but expected to gain some strength and head right into Bermuda. Bermuda. So the season not quite over yet it ends officially November 30th. But boy, what a nice start it was today and temperatures pretty comfortable right now. 82 degrees. The dew point is what's so nice. It's at 59 degrees. The humidity 45%. We have an east northeast wind at 18. The pressure is on the rise. Get a look at these lows tonight into the mid 60s to upper 60s right near the coast. Even Venice 68 degrees. Lakewood Ranch will be down to start the morning off at 66. So yes, get out there and enjoy it. Longbow Key right on the water at 70, but still pretty nice. Well, the rest of the week's forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you. Thank you, Bob. A 29 year old motorcyclist is dead following an early morning Sarasota County crash. FHP says that Ryan Kelly of Sarasota was driving behind a front end loader in a construction zone around the intersection of Bee Ridge Road and Bell Avenue. He didn't judge the construction vehicle's slower speed and ended up crashing into the loader. Troopers say there was no roadway defect that contributed to the crash and no charges will be filed. Now to some breaking news. A federal court has decided to consider the Florida Democratic Party's request to extend the voter registration deadline. That deadline was set to end tomorrow. The Florida Democratic Party filed a lawsuit last night wanting to give residents who were affected by Hurricane Matthew more time to register. Governor Scott has denied requests for an extension, saying people have had enough time to register. The deadline will now be moved to Wednesday at 5 p.m. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton back on the campaign trail after their second presidential debate. It's a debate that Clinton won 57 to 34 percent. That's according to a CNN ORC instant poll. CNN notes the poll leans more Democratic because general election debate watchers generally are more Democratic. A new national survey from NBC Wall Street Journal shows Clinton's lead over Trump expanding to 11 percent among likely voters. That poll was taken before the debate but after a 2005 recording of Trump making lewd and sexually aggressive comments about women became public on Friday. Both candidates this afternoon giving their thoughts on last night's debate. We had a lot of fun, and I would say that Hillary is highly overrated, highly. When he was pressed about how he behaves, he just doubled down on his excuse that it's just locker room banter. Just... Both Trump and Clinton are scheduled to campaign in Florida this week. Trump will visit Lakeland, Ocala, and Panama City. Clinton will be joined by Al Gore in Miami-Dade County. Well, giving clowns a bad rap and scaring others in the process. How the suddenly popular creepy clown prank is affecting some schools right here on the Sun Coast. What does it mean when New South Window says factory direct? It means we have a factory. It means we eliminate the middleman. It means you get an award-winning, energy-efficient window at factory direct prices. I'm consumer investigator Dale Cardwell. Replacing your windows will not just beautify your home, but save you big bucks on your energy bills. I've done the research. I've seen the factory. New South Window is my hands-down choice. New South Window. We manufacture. We install. We guarantee. Call now. Being the caregiver for my husband is truly a blessing. But sometimes it's easy to lose a part of myself. To be my best, for him and for me, it's important to have time to be able to recharge. When I called Tidewell Hospice, they gave me the chance to do just that. They helped me find the time to care for myself, all the while with the peace of mind of knowing my husband is in the very best hands. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. They say good things come to those that wait. Well, you've waited long enough. You deserve to feel fabulous in your fashionable new Fiat 500X from Alfa Romeo Fiat in Sarasota. Boldly innovative, seductively stylish. Fiat gives you everything you'd expect from a capable utility vehicle, like a spacious interior and advanced safety systems, designed and built like a sexy little sportster. Don't wait any longer. You deserve to feel fabulous. Get a new Fiat at Alfa Romeo Fiat of Sarasota. Annual wellness visits are important for healthy living. When you schedule your yearly exam, MCR Health Services is here for you. With over 25 healthcare centers featuring multiple services and eight pharmacies, 
We are here for you. Call or click today. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. The kitchen is where life happens. Minnesota Flooring now offers a wide variety of beautiful quality craft-made cabinetry to make sure the heart of your home reflects your style. Visit us today. The official Sunco Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. People in creepy clown costumes continue to spook unsuspecting people around the country. And while there have been no sightings of these creepy clowns on the Sun Coast, what's turned into a social media phenomenon is now causing some concern among our local school districts. ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates has that story. You're watching an example of the creepy clown prank. The craze started back in August when children reported clowns trying to lure them into the woods in South Carolina. And now it's being emulated around the country. But Sarasota resident and retired clown Aaron Watkins says the prank is not funny. It's sort of an urban legend that rears its ugly head once every five to ten years. Um, and they're, they're definitely not clowns. Uh, who are dressing up to scare people. Watkins says the trend isn't just hurting the reputation of clowns, but also impacting those who appreciate them the most. But it's really unfortunate because uh, who it's really hurting are children. Uh, and, you know, children uh, look at clowns a as an icon. Clowns are really good people who want to uh, entertain both children and adults. But the issue goes beyond reputation to safety concerns. In fact, some area schools have sent out robocalls warning students to not attempt the prank. Halloween is approaching and we have an upcoming Spirit Week. So I want to take a moment to be very clear about this. Students are not permitted to wear clown costumes, masks, or makeup to school or any school events. Doing so may place themselves and others in a dangerous and or confrontational situation. And it isn't just school officials who are raising concern. I'm really scared that it's possibly like just some type of gang trying to scare people. It's really awful and we all have to be aware of it. What's going on and we have to take care of our kids, grandkids. Others in the meantime say they're not afraid at all. It's time for those individuals who are the victims to strike back. It's creepy clowns. As for Watkins, he wants people to remember the actual purpose behind clowns. Clowning is more than being ya-ya, funny, zany clowns, but it's making a connection with a person one-on-one, -on -one. And, and that's a very poor, important part of the training here at the Sailor Circus. Local law enforcement are also warning people to not get involved in the creepy clown craze. Back to you. Thank you, Bobeth. And it is unfortunate because of our strong circus history here. So many retired clowns, mm -hmm. active clowns who live here. Yeah, not really fair They're to not them. Happy about it, you can tell. All right, we'll be right back with your terrific forecast. Stay with us. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free. And services.com. A N D services.com. Come experience the precision, performance, and power of the Ram 1500 during Ram Power Days at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Built tough enough to help you conquer whatever the day may throw your way with all the comfort, gizmos, and gadgets you'll find in a luxury vehicle. And right now, get up to 20% off. That's up to $14,000 off a new Ram 1500. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass & Mirror can meet your every need. 
For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT Wingard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT Wingard impact-resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. Getting older shouldn't mean giving up all the things she loves to do. It should just mean, well, finding new ways to do them. Right at Home's professional team thoughtfully selects caregivers to provide help with personal care, housekeeping, and of course, meal preparation. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, and it tastes good too. <laughs> we can provide the right care, right at home. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Gold fever has once again swept the nation. And everyone is rushing to Florida to strike it doubly rich. Introducing the $5 million Gold Rush Doubler. We're doubling cash prizes for over $752 million in payouts. And 36 prizes from $1 million to $5 million. The Florida Gold Rush is on. The Florida Lottery, just imagine. If the people could, they would be applauding. Yeah, applauding. Right. Yeah, right. I did. Well, All exactly. This is very All nice. Bob. Thank you. Finally, finally, uh, finally. You know, applauding to the nice uh, temperatures yeah. out there. I, I stood outside my garage, just just, just enjoying Standing it. Standing you know? Yeah, what the heck? Soak Nothing it to in. do and not sweating. Just it, it was perfect. <laughs> Clean the garage a little bit, you know. Yeah. Right. Walk the dog a little longer. Mm -hmm. It was it was all very good and looks like it'll be good again tomorrow. I, I kind of likened it to you know as the northerners go through winter, they enjoy that first day of spring. Yeah. It feels really good. Well, it's the same thing for us, just reversed. Uh, this is a great photo sent in from Linda Riley, the YMCA Sharks, and they were bringing awareness to breast cancer because this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and all their pink caps there. I swam with them in a, a function about four or five years ago against Trip Schwenk, and I, I, I think I beat him. I'm not sure. He, he gave me a big head start, but it was a lot of fun. I, I rave him all the time about that. Again, uh, some photos that were sent in after the storm last week. We didn't get a chance to see this. Uh, brilliant purple clouds as a result of the particulate matter in the atmosphere uh, as a result of the wind around what was Matthew. So good shot there. Weather headlines. It's been 145 days since we had temperatures in the 60s. That's right back to May 27th. You have to go to find that. A beautiful work, work week ahead and a slight chance for showers comes back into play, but that's not until Sunday, and even that is very small. Van Weasel webcam showing you fair weather uh, cumulus clouds throughout the afternoon. It gathered a little bit more late in the day. Temperatures still warmed above average today, but it didn't feel like it because the humidity was just so low. High pressure keeping skies clear. Finally, some drier air conditions in this devastated region of North Carolina, South Carolina, all the way down to Florida. It's been just uh, terrible. And into the Bahamas, as well as into Haiti and Cuba, too. That was a massive storm. As I said on Friday, it took off a half of the energy of the, uh, that storm for the entire year. That's what, how much it provided as far as the hurricane energy goes. 67 for a low tonight and into the 60s across most of the region. Highs tomorrow will warm up into the uh, mid 80s for the most part to upper 80s. And then we'll see similar conditions again on Tuesday morning. A little bit warmer into the upper 60s to low 70s on uh, Wednesday morning. 82 right now. Humidity at 45%. We have an east-northeast wind. Pretty brisk. 18 miles an hour. The high today, there it is, above average. But the low this morning was nice. It's 68. Normally we get down to this temperature, so we've just been so high as of late. Uh, it's been uh, too warm and too humid as of late, but now things are starting to get a little bit closer to average. As far as temperatures go tomorrow, we'll be into the mid-80s near the beaches. Now, inland areas, we'll see highs into the upper 80s, right around 88 degrees in Lakewood Ranch, and as well as in Wachula and Arcadia. Temperatures right now in uh, 74, though, comfortable in Atlanta. I mentioned the secondary peak in tropical season hurricane season and it's usually in the latter half of October and early November. So although we're done uh, with the peak, we have to keep an eye open. Uh, some models, the Canadian model hinting at something developing in the Caribbean in about uh, 10 days from now. We'll watch it. The models 
10 days from now, not very accurate, but nonetheless, it shows you. This is the breeding ground for storms, by the way, in the Western Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, and uh, just to the uh, southwestern portion of the Atlantic. We are continuing to watch Nicole. Again, Nicole, a tropical storm, but expected to turn back into a hurricane and head off toward Bermuda and eventually off into the open waters of the Atlantic. Top winds are at 60. It could hit Bermuda with 90 mile an hour winds. So uh, something to watch in the future. As far as the names go, we've had 14 named storms so far this season. And uh, Alex actually started in January earlier on and we went through a lot of names thus far and the biggest one by far, Hermine. And I, I just say Hermine for us, Hermine, the west coast of Florida, biggest one by far, Matthew. The next storm would be Otto if it were to form. We'll see how that plays out. Beach and boating winds out of the northeast, a bit stronger out there, 10 to 15 knots. Seas will be two to four feet with a moderate chop. The water temperature now at 81 degrees, so that's cooled down. Uh, just think about about a month ago, it was at 90, and the high tide will be at 10. 13 tonight, low tide at 335. Mostly clear and comfortable, 68 for your low. Tomorrow, beautiful fall like day, mid 80s for highs, and the extended forecast is calling for delightful weather, especially in the mornings, right through Saturday, slight chance on Sunday and Monday. Linda? Hi, I'm Linda Carson. Coming up, we'll take you back 125 years to the beginning of the First United Methodist Church in Sarasota. Sometimes when the course is difficult and you might take a step where you could fall, it's important to trust and ask for help. That's one of the most important things we learned at Tidewell's Teen Grief Retreat. On your grief journey, there are going to be difficult parts, but you have to trust in yourself and your support systems and know there are people around who will help you make it through. Tidewell Hospice. It's more than you think. At Sunset Subaru in Sarasota, we make sure you get the most for your money. More years, more miles, more 2016 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus winners than any other brand. And right now, you can lease the most award-winning small SUV on the planet, a new 2016 Subaru Forester for just $209 a month. Complimentary maintenance included. At Sunset Subaru in Sarasota, get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Types of timber, cuts of meat, cooking times, temperatures, rubs, seasoning, sauces. You name it, they know it. That's what makes them who they are, Sonny's Pitmasters, and proud of it. Come get some baby back ribs at Sonny's Barbecue. On their own or paired with favorites like jalapeno cheddar hot links, fold or sliced pork, plus two sides and bread. Sonny's Barbecue, local Pitmasters in 68. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. The official salon of ABC7. This week marks a historic milestone in the city of Sarasota. The First United Methodist Church celebrates its 125th anniversary. ABC 7's Linda Carson joins us now with A Place We Call Home. Linda. The place we call home is deeply influenced by the important organizations in our community. And as the oldest church in Sarasota, First Methodist Church has been a major influence on the great city that Sarasota has become. This is a replica of the first church built in the village of Sarasota. Twelve people organized this Methodist church in 1891, and William Blakely Tresco was the first pastor. First building was built at Five Points, Main Street, and Pineapple, that corner, just a block from here now. The building was completed in 1893, and other denominations also used it. 
the, the Baptists also met there, and as did the Episcopalians, and so we shared our space uh, with them. Uh, and that building was used for uh, civic or uh, happenings. I think the mayor was first elected there in that church building. In 1911, the church moved to its current location, building and all. Someone bought, wanted to buy that land, so it was sold uh, to them. But in the price, they moved that old white church a block down here to this, to this land. Sarasota grew rapidly in the early 1900s, especially after World War II, and the Methodists outgrew their church. And they couldn't even meet in the sanctuary. They were meeting in a local auditorium. So in 1914, they built a new church. People referred to it as the Greek temple because of its columns. In 1924, they got one of the area's first pipe organs. The church continued to grow even during the depression and financial downturns. People have a tendency to look to their church for solace. They have a tendency to look for their church for support, emotional support. The church's current building that seats 1,200 people was completed in 1955. The church built a renowned music program and that gave birth to other programs. Music at First Church was actually the beginnings of what later came to be a key chorale or a glory music high. We did all the great music here. The church is right in the heart of Sarasota's cultural district and it's become a part of it. We have a music fine arts series here that's been running here. Oh my goodness, I think I started that about 20 years ago. Plus, Jazz at First Church is held here. A church is a beacon in a community, and this one is certainly a beacon in downtown Sarasota. On Wednesday at 10 a.m., you're invited to the First United Methodist Church as they open the time capsule that was buried 25 years ago. Nobody knows what it contains. And then on Sunday, they're having a big celebration service in the church at 10 a.m. Can't wait to see what's in that what's time in capsule. That? Yes. I wish it was the 125. I wish it was yeah. that old. To yeah, see, you know, right, but it's right. 25 will they still be They bury one every 25 years. Very cool. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Linda. Thanks for joining us. World News Tonight with David Muir is next. We'll see you tonight at 11. Have a great evening.